The Brave Partner is a short notice action planning, SNAP, exercise, led by the US Army Europe and Africa. The exercise includes live fire training and takes place from December 1st to 10, 2023. The exercise's objectives are to demonstrate the operational reach of user RAF, validate US investments in North Macedonia, increase readiness, enhance regional partnerships, increase US force readiness and interoperability. The exercise includes approximately 180 US soldiers from the 2nd Cavalry Regiment support from 30 service members, armored personnel vehicle, infantry fighting vehicle striker medical evacuation training. The exercise took place at the following locations. Skopje International Airport. Krivolik Training Area.
The Army is looking at new technologies and new ways to share information. With this exercise, Brave Partner, we demonstrated that we can maintain situational awareness as we deploy a tactical command post for an operational unit, in this case, the 2nd Cavalry Regiment, to an austere environment. In this exercise, we deployed on short notice from Germany to North Macedonia. We were able to load our vehicles onto a C-17. This is one of the first times that we've been able to share information in real time while we had a command post at the operational level in the air. And we were enabled by the 2nd Theater Signal Brigade to maintain situational awareness via TMDP, the Tactical Mission Data Platform, while we were in transit to North Macedonia. We'll have these augmented reality headsets where we are able to essentially sit at the same table as our higher headquarters, looking at the same picture, creating a shared understanding across large geographical distances. What's been really cool about this mission, this opportunity to come down here to North Macedonia has been getting to see how we operate in theater with in theater assets while also testing out all this new technology, being able to demonstrate these capabilities to our partners as well. With this technology, we are able to work through our intelligence and operations functions across multiple echelons. So we can have units at different levels sharing that information and collaborating. That allows us to get information from the strategic side down to the operational side and down to the tactical level. It also allows us to share information in real time back up to the strategic level so that decision makers can make the best decision with the best information rapidly and accurately. Thank <laughs> you.